For early pioneers, the California deserts were formidable places, and for many of us today, they remain so. But for those who have chosen to live there, as did essayist and novelist Mary Austin, the desert could be a welcoming home. I'm Terry Beers, and this is your California Legacy. Mary Hunter met and married Stafford Austin and moved with him to Independence beneath the eastern escarpment of the Sierra Nevada. There, Mary Austin was moved by the palpable sense of mystery in the desert air. For all of the toll the desert takes of a man, it gives compensations, deep breaths, deep sleep, and the communion of the stars. It comes upon one with new force in the pauses of the night that the Chaldeans were a desert-bred people. It is hard to escape the sense of mastery as the stars move in the wide, clear heavens to risings and settings unobscured. They look large and near, as if they moved on some stately service not needful to declare. Wheeling to their stations in the sky, they make the poor world fret of no account, of no account you who lie out there watching, nor the lean coyote that stands off in the scrub from you and howls and howls. Though Mary Austin moved elsewhere, it was California's landscape and native people that early shaped her voice and led her to write the lovely evocative essays collected in her 1903 nature study, The Land of Little Rain. Your California Legacy is a production of the California Legacy Project at Santa Clara University, on the radio at kezu.org, on the web at californialegacy.org.